What's up guys, it's USA Specialist, and after almost 900 days, DICE has finally announced an end to 2042. Now, I covered the news the other day when it broke, but I wanted to expand on my thoughts and reflect on what I've seen in the community, so hit subscribe and let's get into it. For those of you who haven't seen the news, last week DICE announced that Season 7 will be the final seasonal update to Battlefield 2042, but the game will continue to receive maintenance, events, challenges, and other small updates like the addition of Frontlines. So while this isn't a full cancellation of support, DICE recognized it was time to move all their talent onto the next game and consolidate their effort. Alongside this shift in support, Battlefield also announced that Dead Space developer Motive Studios will be joining the team, bringing the total number of studios working on Battlefield to a whopping four. Motive, DICE, Ripple Effect, and Criterion, all under EA's umbrella. Now, Ridgeline Games and Industrial Toys have both been shut down due to an apparent shift in EA strategy, which means Battlefield Mobile is totally dead, and the single player is now in the hands of Criterion, the developers behind Need for Speed, but by all accounts a very experienced dev team that helped fix 2042. When the news broke of 2042's end, my first reaction was to think about how much pressure must be off the dev team's shoulders. While the fans have been rightfully critical about the game, there's a good chance a small team of younger devs have been busy at work taking over one of gaming's biggest disasters, and to finally have that nightmare come to an end must feel great. Hopefully this lengthy support of such a disastrous game has allowed EA and the devs to learn and grow. While it'll be a shame to see Battlefield 2042 finally come to an end and fans be left in the dark for at least a year, I also agree with a lot of other creators that this is probably for the best. EA is really talking the talk, calling their next project a Battlefield universe built across four AAA studios. So far, we know that a Battle Royale, single-player campaign, and core multiplayer experience are all slated to release next year, possibly making this the single biggest project EA has ever undertaken. And while that's exciting, it creates a very dangerous double-edged sword. Creating a unified vision with a cohesive narrative across single-player, multiplayer, and a Battle Royale is a massive undertaking. However, with so many resources, so many devs, several studios, and millions of dollars, EA has to deliver after all this big talk. People like Andrew Wilson aren't just hyping up fans, but they're selling investors on an entire universe of live service content come next year. At this point, I'm happy to see Battlefield 2042 get put to bed, because EA and the teams working on the franchise have the odds stacked against them, both objectively with such a big task, and ideologically with a frustrated player base. Players have been promised positive change for years, but after 2042's horrific release and anorexic live service, our trust couldn't be lower, all the while EA is setting expectations even higher with such bold claims and so many resources. At the end of the day, Battlefield 2042 was destined to fail. From the beta onward, this game was doomed. From the pandemic to DICE's brutal under-delivery, Battlefield 2042 was a waste of a potentially great game that came out at the wrong time with poor strategy and even worse management. Remember, this game was originally designed by the former director of Candy Crush. But all things considered, while the timing is a little strange, only three weeks into Season 7, the teams behind Battlefield have a hell of a task in front of them which needs to be executed over the next 12 months, as we can probably expect a reveal around June 2025. To get four AAA studios, some of which who've never worked on a Battlefield title, to come together on a buggy game engine and deliver such a massive amount of content in this amount of time is... concerning. While the sudden announcement doesn't really bother me, the constant adding and removing of studios does. It has to be so much work to bring in and out developers like that while unifying the vision and sharing assets. While Battlefield has a huge opportunity here, I'm concerned that with so many devs, so much money, and such high expectations, that if the next game fails, it will fail big time. Dragging down way more devs, more resources, and more money than Battlefield 2042 ever could. But in the meantime, at least 2042 can be removed from their responsibilities, and the teams can be full steam ahead on the future of one of gaming's most beloved franchises. 
Drop those comments below and tell me what you think will happen next. For everything else Battlefield, stay tuned and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching.